Don't you know I am loco? Hey yo. Today, it's not an MRE video, but I'm gonna show you how to install the Madstad windshield on this Riker. I have not seen any videos for it. So, and it's not very difficult. But sometimes people learn better with visual aids, so I'll do my best to help you out if you're interested in this windshield. I like it better because it's much, much wider than the BRP windshield. I got the gray one, or the smoke black. And then it comes with quick detach brackets, four pre built screws which are for the quick detach brackets they aren't finished the greatest unfortunately but that's all right they're there and you got your spacer wedges which hook directly into the instrument cluster and then you got your plastic washer rubber washer and screw to hold the windshield on and that's a phillips number two phillips and you'll also need a four millimeter allen key but on your instrument cluster it's already got these pre-drilled holes pre-threaded you don't have to take anything off to get to them I'll try to do this one-handed here it's always fun but you're gonna want the wedge to where am I at here dang it I kind of sit flat out like that wider end out gonna put these in and don't tighten them all the way down yet because you're gonna have to still put the brackets on I'm sorry And just snug them up pretty good. Okay, that one's pretty good. Nice. Don't do that. So on these brackets, you got this little thing here that moves around. And on your brackets, you got this piece that moves. Make sure it's all the way down. Like that. Look up, doggy. There's your doggies. There's your doggies. They aren't mine. I don't know who's there. <laughs> Anyways, make sure that piece is all the way down. And then you see your hooks slide right on just like that. Do that on both sides. Because this is your quick, damn it, can't see. This is your lock mechanism, so it's got to be all the way down. And once that's on, go ahead and tighten your screws. And if you have a ball type Allen screw, it will be better. Or a ball set. It's just easier to get in there. Otherwise, you're going to be doing quarter turns. Alright, now that the, po or the brackets are on, you can take and this thing will pull forward. You just lift it up, pop it on there, it is now locked. Do that on both sides. And this bracket is totally adjustable. 
got these knobs here, but we'll worry about that once the windshield gets put on. Okay, so you're going to want two of your Phillips screws, two plastic washers. Actually, you're going to need all four of them, but try to get this thing started. You're going to go the rubber washer will go behind the windshield and then your and this will go over your, your plastic washer goes over your screw and then that goes through the windshield all right so you may need help doing this part because you got to put the washer on behind it while holding the windshield against the bracket and trying to run the screw with the washer the plastic washer in I just did two, and then uh, just very lightly tightened it down. So, you've got plenty of room for adjustment if you need to. But so far, it's pretty dang good. Alright, once you got your screws in, let it tighten them up. Not sure of torque specs, but I'm sure they don't need to be super duper tight just as long as they hold on. Alright, once it's on, you got these little uh, wing nut type things here. You can just loosen those up and you can adjust angle of your windshield as well as height so I like to see over the windshield so I'll probably put it right there I don't know if I mentioned these come in sizes of 18 inches 20 inches 22 inches and 24 inches so if you like to have a really tall windshield go with that and once it's where you want it just tighten it down all right I like the Madstad better because it's much wider than the BRP so get a little more coverage you know you'll have to adjust to your riding style I think it looks pretty good. How are we gonna get to the front? I'll do that, just loosen up your screws again. And you can get into your front. A little pain in the butt, that's about the only bad side of this windshield. But you'll have to constantly be moving this around if uh, you use your funk a lot. But I do got a tail bag that I'm going to install too. I probably just keep like the registration and stuff in there. Yeah. Well, hopefully this helps you out. I know it was kind of a crappy video because I'm holding it. I have to do most of this one-handed. But uh, anyways, y'all have a great day.